Good evening guys, welcome back to another video. Um CJW Racing. Uh, excuse me, I'm reaching for a bottle of water. Very professional stream as always. Um so we are here tonight with um our friends over at NGR, Next Gen Racing again. Uh, I'm going to pop a link to their um Facebook page in the description below. Uh we're with them today for the Chloe Chloe Hewitt Mini Cooper Cup. Um, we will get that right sometimes. Uh, we're doing live commentary today for them for round eight, which is from Dragon Trail Seaside. So we'll uh, we'll do the typical. We'll go through all the stuff later on. I'm just waiting for the host to reopen the room because he's out to do a system update. So uh, I'm just waiting for that to get underway, and then we can go jump into qualifying. So a bit of a uh, bit of insight into the format tonight. So we're going to be covering two races. Um, so similar to the GT3 league we do, so there's sort of a sprint and a and a longer race um, involved. So uh, the first race. Uh, obviously both races uh, what we call a spec series so everyone's going to be in the same car so similar to the Sirocco Cup we covered the other night this one's instead in the 2005 Mini Coopers uh, so a bit less powerful than the Sirocco's that we've uh, got experience with before but that shouldn't affect the racing too much uh, so we're looking at the first race being medium racing tyres uh, no tyre wear, no fuel consumption um, a straight dash to the finish line that one's going to be um, I can't remember what he said the, the length for but it's in there somewhere um, and then the second race is a reverse grid so obviously guys are going to qualify for race 1 uh, the second race is a reverse grid which is going to have 10 times tyre wear 8 times fuel consumption uh, and the long start with 70 litres so that's going to essentially put force strategy uh, for the guys to sort of get involved with um, it's a little bit of info um, on the race then and the league so like I said round 7 of 10 Chloe Hewitt Cooper Cup so that's who sponsors this one so if you don't know anything about Chloe Hewitt just literally a little search on Google and Facebook will reveal all you need to know um, that's all I did in my research so essentially uh, there's a couple of guys in NGR that are affiliated with her so we've uh, actually got TC Fredo 5 I don't know if he's in the room yet uh, no he's not I can't see him, he'll jump in a minute um, he's actually her brother so that's kind of the affiliation in there and then a friend of ours, Cutler who you can see uh, let's jump into spectate and just watch these cars go around actually because we can just see a little bit so Cutler, the livery you see on Cutler's car at the minute is actually the livery that she runs in the actual challenge so um, all liveries being run tonight will be um, the, uh, the challenge liveries that the series run uh, but Cutler is running the actual one that, uh, that Chloe runs in the actual championship so um, Mini Coopers quite fun little cars to drive um, I've driven one once uh, nearly flipped it and if I can flip a car you know it's good um, let me just post a little bit of a link <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a group chat with others and they're all posting absolute nonsense. Uh, so we'll just put we're live. I'll just post in NGR as well. Um, so NGR, the, the only reason I got involved with NGR is because I'm in, uh, I'm actually part of uh, Mature Racing Club. Uh, let me just type this out because any more reason I'm not good at multitasking. So live coverage. Um, yeah, I only really got affiliated with these guys because we're effectively in a team versus team league. Um, and I guess just with racing people, you get to know sort of what they like, their ethics, um, how they race, what the standards are. And I said to them, I just got, I just got a good feeling about them. They're really clean racing, nice, friendly bunch of guys, good banter flying about. Um, and then I guess just got involved a little bit more in the stuff that they do. Um, a lot of their guys have helped me out with things. Um, I obviously helped them out with doing Coventries and covering some of their stuff on YouTube, which um, I which I get just as much out of it because I enjoy rambling and ain't shit to people on the internet. It's sort of like a, a hobby of mine, even though I've just spent the past out punching people. Um, so yeah, that's it. So the the track will jump on board with one of them in a minute. And we'll take you for a little bit of a track guide. Um, anyone remotely familiar with Dragon Trail will, sorry, with Gran Turismo will know this track. It is the probably the most famous track on the on the um, on the game. It's fictional, so it's based in Croatia. Um, it's 3.2 miles of twisty, turny fun. 
they got about 17 cones in total. Uh, the track is essentially a triangle, so let's just jump on board with someone who's going to start a lap in a minute. And whoever you are, please don't crash. Let's jump on board with Cuddles, he's just come out of the lap, he's just come out of the pit, so. Uh, you start the lap, a little um, bending right handed, no need to break for this at all. Um, just helps set you up, so you're on a slight decline here, so break into key. So you trail break into the chicane quick left then in almost immediately onto the right again and, and sort of open the steering up um, to come start back downhill again. Slight bend to the left, uh, keep as left as possible because you've got a, um, a tricky right hander coming. Take too much kerb here when you're off, uh, almost immediately back on the brakes again um, for this very tight and essentially in inverted commas the first hairpin of the track. Back up the hill we go and then back down again. Um, into the first inverted comma, sorry, into the second inverted comma chicane, so this one's more of an S's type, but um, it's, it's equally challenging as you can see these minis with the soft suspension will sort of wobble around here, so this is probably one of the most challenging parts of the circuit. Um, up the hill, these little cars, uh, over the crest, and then you want to be as left as possible. Uh, as you start coming down the hill, and it, this corner's a bit of an awkward one because it sort of opens up on exit. So you want a nice tight exit, and then you can sort of plant the throttle down as you go through. Run that curve all the way out. And this next one is um, what we call the chicane of death. You can take a lot of curb here. You can almost run that curb flat if you want to. It might upset these cars. I'm not driven them yet. And then here's the chicane of death. A pretty famous corner. Now, <clears throat> shouldn't be too much of a problem in minis providing they are um, you know, sort of single file. The second you start trying to take too wide through there, someone is going to the shadow realm. Um, uh, this corner is massively important because it leads onto the biggest straight, so you've got to get your braking right, but most importantly you've got to get your exit. Um, unfortunately, um, Cuddles hasn't done a fantastic job of that this time around, but um, the, the better an exit you get here, the more speed you're going to carry down the main straight, and one of the better op uh, overtaking opportunities is at the bottom coming into the first game. So that's a like, lap of Dragon Trail Seaside in the Mini Coopers. Um, like I sort of said with Dragon Trail, it's it's a, it's a really challenging track, really technical. So triangular, three hairpins, three different types of chicane to sort of negotiate. This one's very undulating, this upsets the car massively. Um, and then you've got the S's and then the very tight chicane of death. Let's have a quick look at the league standings. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'll be on it. I'm really fucking tired. Um, okay, so having a look at lead toast. These are um, after round seven. So heading up the field, we've got uh, F12 for YS. So I'm just going to call you F12 again throughout this one. Um, looks like you had a bit of a disconnection issue um, <coughs> uh, last time out because he didn't score any points in round two, so that cut his lead down significantly. Uh, and then you got Cutler. Uh, just behind now, five points adrift. Um, just key to point out, by the way, that F12's mm -hmm. got seven wins to his name. Cutler's got one. Obviously, Cutler's just been putting in some, some nice, consistent performances. Mm -hmm. And in third, we've got GTP Rick WRX. Um, he's 36 points adrift of the lead, but again, four wins to his name. Um, just must have had a few bad events. <coughs> in fourth, Con Reese. Uh, in fifth, mm -hmm. NGR Happy. Uh, in sixth, TC Fredo 5. 7 Scar Wars 22, love that name. Um, in 8th, we've got F13LJ, who we'll be familiar with from our Wednesday Night League. We've got Banana Split in 9th. Uh, NGR Cuddles, who we're following here, is currently um, just rounding out the top 10 in the Championship. And then 11th is Burnt Fry. 12th is Big Bad Bud. 13th is TWT. And 14th is a revolver, rounding out. Looks like he's, uh, he's only scored 34 points so far and hasn't scored a win yet. So uh, if he's in the room, which is he's, he's six, um, he could do. A, he could do a, getting some points on the board today. Um, so let's have a quick look. So I don't know if we're underway with qualifying yet. Let's gonna find out. There's, there's actually not been a message. That I can see to say he's qualifying underway, so I'm just going to pop a little message in just for my commentating because if I'm commentating, someone needs to know what I'm doing. Um, I know, me knowing what I'm doing. Shock. Um, I've seen a comment by the way, I'm not ignoring it. 
Luckily I'm ignoring it. Oh wait, burnt fire. Um, I was just doing something else at the same time. It's quality. Perfect. Um, occasionally on the stream you're going to see a black box in the top left hand corner and that's because my PlayStation is set to something. I don't know how to turn it off. Um, so what you might just ignore it because it's usually just a little in-game message that I can't turn off when it's doing my nothing. So I'll just display race info because what I don't want to start doing is giving away other people's control inputs and stuff like that. So we'll just want to see the split times. Um, to my knowledge this is just practice. 8.30 start. Oh, right, perfect. So, yeah, we're, we're a couple of minutes away, yeah. A couple of minutes away from, from starting quality. So we'll just watch the guys go around and just talk about it a little bit then. So, just to give you a little bit of an insight into the car. So these are 150 brake horsepower of, uh, of misery. Quite a lot of power um, for a car that, that barely weighs a ton. So they're actually quite fun to drive. It uh, should be pretty much stock set up, so uh, I don't believe they're allowed to tweak with suspension and stuff, I'm not sure. Uh, these minis, as you can see, can, can upset the short wheelbase. They will um, chuck themselves around at will if they uh, if they feel um, at ease with anything. Um, they are the 2005 variant of the Mini Cooper S. So I think from the top of my head, these are the supercharged ones. Let's have a quick look. If I display all, surely I'll have a little boost gauge in the bottom. Oh, no, they're not, they're not supercharged. These are just the standard 1.6 engines. Shows how much I know about cars, doesn't it? And I'm a petrol head, apparently. <coughs> so just to recap them, we're looking at two races tonight. And the second, the first race, obviously, is a sprint race. So getting a good quality here is going to be going to be pretty important because if you get a terrible quality there's, there's not there is opportunity to get through the pack but you're not going to have uh, you're not going to have as much time you've only got eight laps let's have a good lap just over two minutes five seconds f12's put his best lap in so far so that's the benchmark really so a 205 is the time to beat uh, eight laps of that and then the second race, which is reverse grid, so whoever wins the first race will start right at the back for the second one. That's going to be 14 laps, and that's with tyre and fuel wear both set. Quite high multipliers as well. Uh, these are racing tyres, so the degradation on racing tyres is actually worse um, than the sort of comfort and road tyres because of the, the, the stickiness of them, so the abrasion's higher. Uh, so in the second race, I mean, I'll talk about it when we get closer to it anyway, but you're looking at 10 times tyre wear, so every lap you do, is taking 10 laps effectively out of the life of that tyre. Um, they can run, I believe, any sort of compound they want though. So if you want to stick a set of hards on and go for a really long stint and extend it, you can do. If you want to, I don't know, start the race on a set of super softs and absolutely kill your tyres in two laps, go for it, whatever you want. Um, and also you're going to have sort of limited fuel, so you're not going to be allowed to fill your tank up. You're going to have about three quarters worth of fuel, so you're not going to be able to do a full race distance with that because obviously your fuel's going to deplete at eight times as well. So, um, quite good settings. I quite like the idea of, of that. We do it on Wednesday nights and it always induces a little bit of strategy. Um, anyone familiar with me and my channel will know that I'm thoroughly cocked that up on Wednesday night and threw away a podium. Um, not as bad as Burnt Fire, of course, who decked it. And uh, I've promised him a little bit of abuse tonight, so uh, you're going to get it. Speaking of the lad, let's have a quick flip through the field and just see how everyone's getting on and have a look at the car. So obviously F12 here. Uh, we've been following for a little while now. Uh, Rick WRX. I was going to say in the mini. And then probably going to follow up with a fucking courses in the mini. Um, so Rick WRX is um, he's currently third in the championship. So a good result today. He's only 35 points drift of F12, so he can he can recover that with two very good bases today if he wishes. Um, Burnt Fry has got some work to do in the championship. He's currently down in 11th. Um, uh, as much as I'll give him give him abuse, he, he has got pace. He's quite a quick guy. So um, <coughs> if he's if he's got the um, if he's got the ability in these N-series cars to get a good result, then hopefully he can put some times in. Um, Joe Winner is not as listed 
on my sheet so potentially join as someone who's done a PSN name change and I simply don't know who they are so um, if anyone's watching who can correct me as to who join a 1408 actually is in the championship table I'd appreciate it if not uh, I'm just going to assume they're a new starter who likes burying their car into walls Cutler someone we're familiar with <coughs> uh, Cutler's doing really well in this championship his second five points drift so um, I fully expect him and F12 to be fighting it out for the lead in the first sprint race and uh, hopefully, uh, they take each other out in the second one, and we get a good uh, we get a good battle between some of the back markers. But who knows? Uh, TC Fellow Five, who's Chloe Hewitt's brother, so he'll uh, a very close personal sort of affiliation to this race. Uh, he's six in the championship on 125 points. Um, so again, he's um, he's up there, he's in the mix, and he's uh, it looks like he's been getting some decent results as well with three podiums. Uh, we've got NGR Cuddles, who championship wise is rounding out the top 10. Uh, himself has got three podiums as well, so uh, seems to have a decent uh, decent round last time as well. Picked up some decent points last time out. Um, out of the two sort of rounds, picked up just under 25 points, so seems to have done himself quite well. <coughs> Revolver 84. Uh, so currently, this is the person that's, that's bottoming out of the championship right now. Uh, he's currently nine seconds off the pace, nearly ten seconds off the pace. Um, so we'll just sort of see how that. So that's how you can cut that corner. You can do that. That's, if you did that in real life, you'd probably get penalties beyond recognition. But the game lets you, so you might as well do it. Um, I think if it didn't, a lot of people would get sent to the shadow realm in that corner. Uh, TWT, uh, 13th in the championship. Um, Picked up consistent points last time out, scored 7 and 8, so maybe just a late entrant, <coughs> uh, or maybe someone that just consistently scores at the lower end of the table, I'm not too sure, I don't know, don't know anything about him, but uh, we'll, we'll obviously find that out. Uh, Big Bad Bud, some, someone we're obviously familiar with um, from the Wednesday Night League, um, currently though, um, has a little bit of work to do in the Championship, sort of um, chasing down Burnt Fire right now. Jake Carty, again, someone else I'm not familiar with. And Con Reese, uh, rounding out the people that we've got here. Con Reese is actually in fourth in the championship. Didn't turn up at all last time out, so there's no points scored in the last round. So, uh, currently, he's, he's someone who scored a fastest lap and a couple of podiums as well as uh, along the way in this championship. So, someone to watch, I think. Uh, potentially has a little bit of pace. So, let's just check the comments on the stream because I've seen some pop up. <coughs> Joe Winner is a filler, he's not in the championship. Cool. Hi Dragon Eagle, how you doing? Nice to uh, nice you could join us, mate. Appreciate you coming. Uh, so if you're um, watching this as a neutral and there's anyone in here you've, you sort of fancy the look of or if you're supporting anyone in particular, drop me a little bit of a message, let me know who you're cheering on and I'll try and give them a little bit of coverage. He's happy, got in the nick of time. Yeah, I'm still I'm still getting rid of this man flu. I've had it for about three weeks, and I'm not doing my immune system any favours because I'm not resting. Um, literally finished work, got home, cut my daughter some dinner, went to the gym. I'm still in my gym gear, and I'm sat in front of my PlayStation. I'll probably be on here till like eleven o'clock at night. So we're gonna have fifteen minutes to quality them. Supporting me, I'm not racing, pal. <laughs> I'm not racing. Um, no, we're we the the guys in. I'm just doing some commentary, pal. Um, I'm not um, I'm not racing in this one. Um, let me know if you want me to give you your Kika finger shout out. Though I've read the thread on it earlier on. I didn't know whether it was a NGR thing or if it's just MRC. But give me a shout and let me know how you're getting on with that because I think you've got some solidifying stuff in there, haven't you? Uh, right, so we're underway with qualifying. So obviously we're not going to have any laps just yet. <coughs> First out on track is Rick. Uh, so obviously we'll just see on their out laps. Um, there's no fuel consumption at this part, so there's no point in these guys fuel burning. They've just got 15 minutes straight shoot out. Um, obviously the, the the sorry, what I forgot to cover. I was going to do it a little bit later on. 
um, was that in the first race they can only run medium compound tyres. So they're all the first one is all about your quality. You've got to qualify well in your first race because you've only got eight laps to do it. You've all got the same tyres, you've all got the same fuel, none of you have got tyre wear, you've all got exactly the same car. It is 100% pure driver skill. Um, we saw the effects of that in the Sirocco Cup recently where um, we had a lot of close battling on track throughout the race. In fact, first and second were separated only really because of a penalty. Um, they were pretty much neck and neck throughout the way. <coughs> I think I think Jordan will be a bit annoyed, Marshall, if you don't cheer for him, but it um, depends how much you two are getting on right now. Um, Depends, mate. It depends on whether he's secretly willing it, uh, willing him to ditch it into the wall of death at some point in the in the race just for banter. Um, but I'll I'll obviously be giving him a little bit of coverage. I mean abuse throughout the race as well. So I believe Quali's 15 minutes. <coughs> so two minutes a lap. No need for fuel burning. You can get you can get seven laps in if you really want to go for it but it doesn't always make sense to absolutely go nails to the wall um, in your qualifying so let's just see how Rick hooks this one up so I'm just crossing line to start his flying lap now so 2.05 seems to be the benchmark time <coughs> uh, I'm just going to go quiet for one minute my daughter is calling me I'll leave the camera running. I'll be back in just a second. Sorry about that guys, I'm back now, yeah, my daughter seems to know when I'm busy and invent reasons to stay awake, so, uh, we follow the action, Rick got himself a 206, what I'm going to do on this one is actually put the info on the side, can I get away with doing that without showing that, no, I'll have to do this, <coughs> so, Rick got a 265, got a 260, uh, Reese 205.4 and currently leading the ways F12 with a 204.2 um, so beating his um, beating his best time that he managed to set um, in practice so was he sandbagging who knows who knows right so let's follow the action then so uh, Scar Wars yet to set a lap <sighs> maybe he's waiting for some Jedi mind tricks to sit in who knows Taking my seat again. Uh, currently, Jake Carty uh, not set a lap yet. He's on his way round to do just that as we as we talk. Yeah, it's, 
she knows, mate. She knows when I'm busy. She can tell. It's like a sixth sense. And when she knows I need to do something, she turns into a little pain in the backside. Other than that, she's the cutest little human being you'll ever meet. But yeah, she's a pain as well. Let's see what sort of time Jake sets. I've not really kept an eye on his deltas and splits. I'm not too sure if this is a good lap or not. Um, doesn't look to be. It's going to be a 2.09, which is good enough for ninth right now. Bud is hoping to benefit from some slipstream ahead as they both negotiate the chicane of death and they both do so without killing each other. These minis don't seem too bad around there to be fair, the suspension sort of compliant enough um, in order to get you through it. Look at the wheel bend going around that corner then properly just leaning it in, wanting to say in that slipstream can um, can these guys use that slipstream to their advantage and improve the qualifying time? Bud currently 3.2, 3.7 off. Manages to improve, goes 2.067, that moves him up ahead of Cuddles to 7th place. That's a, that's a good lap, but he'll again be pushing for more. Let's see who else we've got out on laps right now. I got Revolver down in 12th, he'll be hoping he can and improve but currently this doesn't look like a fast lap at all looks like he made a mistake somewhere along the line uh, we can go to some live timing you can see Rick who set a uh, purple last sector uh, looking at F12 2042 wasn't his best one in the last lap let's have a look Well, they've got a big bunch of cars just sat there going through the asses right now. So let's get involved with them and see what they're all up to. So at the head of this is Cuddles. So giving everyone the benefit of the slipstream as he goes down. And we've got Big Bad Bud in eighth. And Bert Fry's actually putting out a really good qualifying lap somewhere along the line that we've missed. And that's a 2.05.2. Um, still nearly a second off F12 though, so um, there's, there's obviously some time to gain in this lap. And we've still got seven minutes of qualifying ish to go yet, and there's plenty of time for some of these boys to put in faster times. Uh, F12 currently is uh, is he on a is he on a lap to to beat? Doesn't look like he's going anywhere right now. See if he does manage to to better his 204.2. He nearly pretty much matches it. So a 204.25, and it's literally like a two thousandths of a second down. So uh, Ben Fine now desperately clinging on to slipstream just to see if he can improve on his time. Doesn't. Uh, gets beaten by Con Reese, who puts in a 204.3. So a good lap from him, and that sees him start. Um, on the first road to grid if, if things remain unchanged Burnt Fry will be, will be keen to, to set that but that was a good lap from, from him um, just, uh, just a tenth behind F12 and that's the closest anyone's come to that time yet so the only, the only two people in the 204s so far <coughs> third at the minute is, uh, is Burnt Fry got Rick in fourth with a 205.3 Cutler with a good qualifying so far um, has just been in the pits and is on his way back out again but uh, he's uh, very close to TC Fredo up ahead uh, TC Fredo's just put a 2.06 lap time in so that uh, promotes him up to 5th Big Bad Bud in the middle of that in, in, the, in a sandwich right now so he's going to get a little bit of slipstream but um, I mean, not that these cars are sort of downforce driven, but so he's not really going to get much outwash from, from Cuddles ahead. Um, but there, there is going to be times when potentially he's going to slow him down, like coming up right now. I mean, no one's blocking anyone. They, they could easily back off and give each other gaps if they want to. They just haven't. Um, but there's, there's got to be a time in this. You'd think that to prevent a, a horrific accident, one of these guys is just going to have to back off to follow a little bit. That looks to be Burnt Fire right now. He's right on the tail of him. 
not really sure if any of these guys are getting much benefit out of fighting this close together to be fair because um, Cuddles is having to sort of go over to the left hand side now, sorry the right hand side I do have an education I promise the pod gets a little bit out of shape that might yeah burnt fire just can't run as wide now so that's going to affect his time a little bit and I'd be very surprised if we've released both managed to improve the times let's have a look Uh, Burnt Fight does improve, so he goes to a 2.05.1, so he, he does shave a fair bit of time off his lap. <coughs> it's getting a bit tasty in qualifying, I wonder what it's going to be like in the race. That's a good omen, as, um, as, as Bud uh, is missing the beats that much, he, uh, he, he revisits. And then decides to park it up. So I'll just have a bit of a recap of times then. So as we've been chatting bullshit, uh, F12 has gone even faster and is in, two, he's in the 203s now. So he's, in a, he's just in a 203.7. Uh, Reese behind him has uh, put a 2.16 in that last lap. So um, obviously a mistake made along the line somewhere. Um, but still uh, good enough. He's on a personal best at the minute. So let's improve this. He's got six tenths to make up to F12. But even if it doesn't improve enough to, to get pole, um, it's just building more of a gap um, to, to the guys behind. I don't know if I've got enough water to last me throughout this race. We will see. So a couple of minutes left in qualifying, probably enough for everyone to get another lap in. So the pressure's mounting now for those guys near the back. Um, who know they need to they need to put some good performances in in quali. Just following Reese just as he finishes off the lap, then we'll have a bit of a flick through and see how everyone else is getting on. He's still up on his time. Uh, not purple. He's setting personal best times throughout. Seems to be nice and clean so far, running really nice lines throughout the lap. Um, but at this minute, it's just not matching the pace that F12 has, has managed to put in. This corner's critical, he's missed the apex there. Uh, but he's got what seems to be a decent run out of the end. Uh, 2.043 is his current time to beat. And uh, doesn't look like he's, uh, he's got, it looks like he lost all that in the last sector. Um, while we've been doing that, Burnt Fry pipped him with a 2.0437. Three one thousandths of a second separates second and third, um, so it just shows you how close the spec series can make it. And um, we've got F12, who's um, not better than that, that fantastic lap he put in on that five. <coughs> but if I were just covered, Con Reese would just been watching. Rick WRX has been smashing in the 205s, but hasn't yet managed to beat his 205. Three. 6 1 that he put in in lap 3. Uh, Freddo with a 206 0. Um, he's probably got time for one more lap if he really smashes it round. Um, we'll see how he gets on. Uh, Cutler. Uh, not far behind Freddo, so if he is, is, is actually on for a decent lap this time, so we'll come back to Cutler. Hopefully, we'll remember. Uh, Big Bad Bud seems to uh, not be bothering at this minute in time. Neither is Cuddles, he's, he's, he's just spectating right now. Joanna, who we've clarified, is a standing. I'm happy with a 2068 on his last lap, it's good enough for 10th. Scar Wars, uh, currently in a personal best position, let's see if he improves. Uh, it does Scar Wars, goes up to 5th, takes 2.5 seconds. So that's quality over. finish his lap but he is on best times he'll probably be a little bit annoyed at that because he's, he's, he's got the pace to certainly get himself into fifth I think and he just decks it for that so here we go then ready to get underway round eight of the Chloe, Chloe Hewitt Mini Cooper Cup uh, next gen racing and here we go then the drivers lining up ready for lights out 
follow the action as we get underway. F12 and Burnt 5, row 1, Conrees, Rick Rakes, row 2, Fred and Cutler, row 3, Bud and Cuddles, row, row 4. These are the guys that are going to be fighting it out. Eight laps to go, no tyre wear, and the lights go green. Some drivers get a good start. Conry seems to just bog down a little bit, so does Burnt 5, Rick Ricks, and F12 seem to get away quite well. Scar Wars made a fantastic start right from the back. He actually qualified fifth, but I think there was he pitted, he quit to the pit, and that must have reset him right to the back of the grid now. So all cars really close going down into the second corner. This is a good spot for some overtaking to be made. No one really seems to make a lunge. Cutler seems to go for what? Cutler seems to go for a move, but keeps it clean, hangs it round the outside. Uh, will he get a run on Reese as he goes round? No, seems that Reese has just got the momentum. Uh, we'll follow this pack. Um, just it seems to be close, going sort of too wide through this corner. Very brave of both of these guys to do that. Ricks has got the inside line though. He looks like he's going to keep that move, or does he? <laughs> Cutler just hangs one round the outside like a monkey, just swinging it around that corner. Just an absolutely beautiful move by Cutler, right? That's fantastic to see. But you've got to now hold this through the S's, and that Rick had some pace in qualifying through there. So can these uh, Cutlers take the inside line? That could. Send him wide though, but does he have the momentum? Is he going to keep it? He's very clever. I love this way, he's fantastic. So just have a quick flick through the pack uh, in a minute because I, I don't want to leave this battle because this is this is where the action is so far. Uh, Cutler just defending like an absolute demon now. This next bit, um, you can't really overtake. Uh, looks like looks like these guys got a little bit out of shape there. Um, you can't really go side by side through here. Don't go too wide here. Don't go. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, he's dead. Someone died. Cutler's got slammed into the wall. Oh, nearly. I'm surprised that they've managed to last. Cost Cutler a couple of places. That's promoted Fred and Bud up a couple. Um, they've taken advantage of the absolute nightmare chaos that was going on behind. Looks like, looks like Bud gets all out of shape and just knocks someone to win her. Joiner just puts a spin on. Fortunately, you were ghosted, then you didn't end up taking Jake out. Um, put down in eighth. Caught him in seventh. He's going to be fighting back now. So he's uh, right on the tail of Cuddles in seventh position. Uh, third to seventh, separated by half a second. Absolute tops. This battle behind is, is the battle to watch without a shadow of a doubt. Cutler sends one up the inside, but Cutler's going to have the inside line for the ever important exit of this chicane. Meanwhile, up ahead, Rick Wicks and Freddo. Rick, I'm just going to call you Rick because I'm not going Rick WRX, so I'm going to get that wrong all the time. Uh, again, two by two, like Noah's Ark going into this, uh, this hairpin right hander. I think Cuddles has makes the right move and just bails out because that could have ended quite badly all the cars now back in single file uh, we are currently on the second lap of eight there's plenty of time for these guys if they really want to um, start making moves let's just have a bit of a flick through as Burnt Fry has got himself into the lead of the race um, we must have missed some action there because he's got a five second lead and I'm pretty sure last time I checked didn't have a five second lead so it's going to take some almighty uh, mission now to beat Burnt Fry, who's uh, up in second F12, who was winning, is now in fourth. Let's see what's happened to him. He seems to have lost all his momentum. It's a nightmare lap F12, and he's, he's, he's now defending his, his fourth position uh, to a very hungry cutler behind him. Um, so at the minute, we've got Conries in second. 5.2 seconds now the gap to Burnt Fry, but he's got half a second to Fredo behind him. Very close battle for third now with F12 and fourth just behind. Behind him, Cutler and Rick Wicks fighting it out for fifth position, so Cutler's going to have to go defensive here in order not to lose this spot. Send Rick the long way around. Can he go for the switchback move on the exit? Don't think the minute he's got the turn in to do it, but will he have the exit speed? We'll find out going into turn one, I think. Uh, Cuddles and Bud we're bringing that up uh, then in uh, in ninth we've got Scar Wars got Jake Carty in 10th with Joanna not far behind him and then 12th and 13th having a nice little battle with TWT bringing up the rear at the minute so Burnfire 
put another second into that lead. He's really getting the hammer down this start this time. Conries still defending to Fredo behind him. I love the camera angles on this game. I absolutely adore the way Gran Turismo looks. You can rant and rave about the best sim race being I racing, race room and all that. Gran Turismo for me. Fantastic game. <coughs> Cutler then again tries to send one round the outside. He's really good there. He seems to get more. He's like the Ayrton Senna of the Mini Cooper world. Just seems to get more traction round the outside than anyone else can even dare to dare to dream of. F12 just tries to cut him off but sort of makes that move a little bit late looking at it. He's on the inside line now. He seems to back out of it there. Little bit of contact but Cutler stays firm. Doesn't get to doesn't get moved. Meanwhile up ahead, Fredo's picked up a half a second penalty. Uh, half a second is more common for little track cuts which um, which happen in Grand Turismo. It does have some absolutely ridiculous track limits. Uh, F12 went defensive and took back in. Uh, these guys behind. So now we're going to say separate that a little bit. Then F12 and Cutler go side by side. Um, going into this complex. Cutler bails out of it. Probably again the right move to do. What he's probably going to want to do instead is... He's tuck in behind and make a move going down into the hairpin at the end of this. We're three laps in, not one person yet has died at the chicane. Just have a little bit of a review through the pipe now. I'll lead a burnt fire, sort of stabilise that gap. Sort of staying at six and a half seconds. Fastest lap of the race though at a 2.05. Conries, this, this battle for second is still flaring. It's, it, it, this isn't going away anytime soon. Reese is able to pull a little bit away, but these guys will come back and fight for it. Even an 18 out. Rick in fourth. F12, yeah, he started on pole. Right. He's got to be a bit disappointed about how that race sort of turned out for him, and it'd be interesting to sort of hear from him at the end of the race um, what exactly happened on the second lap, because this, this guy has some serious pace. Um, but with that sort of pace, did I expect him to fight through the pack a little bit more enthusiastic than he is doing here? Probably. Cuddles just loses out to Cutler. Um, didn't look to be any contact there, just looks like there was a little bit round why Cutler does bloody well to keep that thing on track because that was flying. Um, Cutler now up into six, has been involved in pretty much every battle that, that's been going. Um, for his trouble going off road, Cuddles picks up a little bit of a penalty and loses out to Big Bad Bud as well. The story of the race at the minute though. It's, uh, is the battle for second. So we've got uh, Chloe Hewitt's brother fighting it out for that second place. This fight is just letting Burn Fly get away then. Come on boys, you can't let this guy get ahead. Bad Marshall, intrigued to hear. Are you happy at this so far? How's this going for you? Are you cheering him on? Or are you secretly hoping with nearly half the race completed that he buries it into the wall? Let me know your thoughts. So I think the ferocity seems to have calmed down a little bit in this race now. Not too much going on. Cars are a little bit close, but there's not too much actual fighting going on so far. F12 trying to set one up. Did, uh, did Rick just get, get two wheels on the grass? I think that's what happened. I don't think I saw any contact. You can use this on this game with this contact, because the old one car goes absolutely flying. You see, you get sent to the shadow realm if that happens. Uh, F12 sort of sticks his nose in. He wants to be on the inside for this corner. Makes an absolutely lovely move late on the brakes. Takes the apex. Lovely move, F12. That's it. Uh, that's Textbook straight from the, the school of licking the stamp and sending it off, and that was a nice little move. That so, after I'm now back up in fourth, <coughs> uh, behind him, he's got Rick still, he's still, he's not going away, he's still there, he's gaining, going up the hill. 
So after I was going to have to think about going defensive. Leaves him space on the inside, sort of pushes him that way. And doesn't want the inside, doesn't want him to get the inside line. So this next corner, uh, we see it tighten up. Uh, Rick could go for the switch back, hope for the better traction at the exit. It's not always worth that. You've not really got enough time to get past before the next corner. Uh, so you're better off in this section of track. I always think just tucking in, uh, getting the slip and going for it, the hairpin at the end, if that's really the move you want to take. Uh, a bit further on down the field then to Cutler in six. Uh, good race from him so far. Uh, but not really seen too much of him. I think he's just had a bit of an unlucky one so far, but plenty of time left to, to recover. Cuddles in eighth. Happy in ninth. Nice little battle here for tenth going on. Let's give this a little bit of coverage. So we've got Joanna leading this one with Scar Wars and Jake Carty behind. Really tight going into the bottom hairpin. So Scar Wars is going to get the run here. He's going to shut one down the inside. Joanna should really have gone over to the right and defended this one. Um, or is this tactical? Are they going to. Just, is he going to, have to look for the switch back now? There's plenty, there's plenty of room given. Um, fantastic respect for racing from these guys. Just, I said that and then the others run him off track. But um, I think he thought he had the he had the line covered. But a nice move there by Scar Wars, who is now up into the top ten. Jake Carter just watching this from 12th, I'm hoping that one of them falls off. And we've got Revolver in 13th. Um, just uh, just coming through the tunnel now. TWT uh, just about to take on the famed chicane of death. <coughs> just about manages to make that through. So as we head back up to the top of the field now, Burnt Fries pulled out a commanding lead. Uh, so he's looking at nine seconds ahead of second place Reese. Who himself has pulled out a nice little gap to Fredo, who is in a battle for fourth place. Just lost out that battle to Cutler. Um, didn't see that, but looks like Cutler got the run going up the hill um, and, and, and took him at the crest and just kept it all the way down. So, but nearly outbreaks himself uh, going down at uh, the second hairpin. <coughs> I'm slightly disappointed that you're all taking this track clean so far. You know, I was expecting at least one person to bury it. None of you have yet. How disappointing. Uh, Cutler then. Um, good result, mate, so far. A um, couple of laps to go, of course, but um, keep up the sort of pace you've been doing and that'll, that'll steed you well. So, obviously, running the same livery that Chloe runs in the actual official mini challenge. Uh, Fredo now still carrying a little bit of that penalty. He can burn that off around this track if he absolutely needs to. He's got a three second gap to put behind, so he can do that. Cuddles. Again, that's a nice little fight. F12. F what's happened after? Oh, I keep missing this, mate. I honestly I genuinely keep missing the times when you fall off track. And I know you're probably glad of that. Um, but you were on pole at one point. Uh, but F12 now, it's a battle of the brakes. It looks like Cuddles just breaks later and manages to get the apex in. F12 is going to help that he can just keep his foot in it a little bit longer and get the run going down. Can he pull? Um, can he pull the same sort of move going down into the first chicane? Let's see. No, it looks like Cuddles just covers that one off sufficiently. Um, just just takes the racing line, doesn't let him doesn't let him move in. But it looks like he gets out of shape on the exit, so that's going to let F12 through. It looks like on the run out of that hairpin just went a little bit too much on that kerb. It is, um, as you can see by the kerbs, you've got a sheer drop off on the other side. If you get two wheels on that, it'll keep you there. And you have to make some really harsh um, steering inputs to, to get it back where it should be. Um, after all, now we've got to defend. It pulls out to the middle of the track and pulls back to the racing line to brake. Mick doesn't throw one up the inside, keeps it nice and sensible. Uh, yeah, it is close racing, mate. Um, spec series, though, isn't it? Uh, everyone's in the same car, same tyres. So, you kind of expect this. And I'm glad we're getting it, to be fair. 
fair, there's, there's, there's too many sort of racing series where there's just a dominant car, there's no sort of thing here. <coughs> Do like that, that's probably my favourite livery. This one that Scar Wars is running. Joe Enner and Jake fighting out for 11th spot. Revolver just having a just running round on his own, Trevor now. Uh, TWC not far away from being lapped by Burnt Fry, who is disappearing off into the distance, is on the final lap. Uh, we're going to follow him a little bit, just give the give the kid a bit of air time because they're not really done it. Um, but he's just Marshall has just been consistent, right? Once he got up ahead, um, he ran. He's running. He's been running mid two fours pretty much since he got ahead lap three four. 204 laps, clean air, just putting it in. Um, probably less than two temps between each lap, so in terms of consistently, he's doing really well. Can't fault him. Um, pulled out nearly a 12 second lead, so well done to him, I say. To be fair, he's got all the work to do in the next race. Um, similar story for Reese, he's been consistent since lap three, really, so 205s for him. We've got a three and a half second gap to Cutler. Cutler's had a bit more battling to do. And I sort of feel that without all the battles he's been involved in again, he's, he's got the pace to be up there with these guys. Yeah, but he's just got involved in too much stuff. Not for any fault of his own, he's not randomly just found fighting to get involved in fighting. He's just, he's just been in that part of the track. We've got Fredo in the fourth. Um, we've still got that penalty to get rid of, so um, we'll see if that compromises him to Bud ahead. Um, he should be able to burn that off on the line. F12, who for me has had a bit of a disappointing race, um, started pole, put in a really good, solid performance in quali, but um, looks to have had a few incidents along the way, so there's a 214 lap in there somewhere. So Burnt Fire comes to take race one. Con Reese uh, finishes an absolute solid second. Cutler, fantastic race for that man, takes the final podium position. We've got Fredo, Bud, F12 and Rick still separated by not much um, as they come across the line, about half a second. Um, Cuddles in eighth. Um, we're just going to watch Happy come across for ninth. And then Scar Wars, who we saw pull off that lovely move. And he's going to round out the top ten for us. You right, Andre? Good that you could drop him, mate. Joanna finishing in 11th. Uh, Jake Carty uh, will have time to get across the lap and finish. Looks like we're going to end on Revolver um, lapping around during during that when the time runs out in about 30 seconds or so. And TWT is already across the line. So they finish as well. So just to recap your finishing order then. So in the, in the first round... Uh, there is Andre, there's a reverse um, reverse grid. <coughs> so, Burnt Fire, who we're looking at now, is going to start right at the back. And he's going to have to do all that hard work again. Yeah, um, I don't know if there's a break, mate. We'll find out in a minute if there's a couple of minutes break. Because I need, to, uh, hopefully there is, because I'm running out of water. Uh, so, we've got Burnt Fire finished with an 11 second lead. Uh, Reese and then Cutler in your top spots. So, there's your final results. So the first first blood goes to Burnt Fire. Good result, mate. Well done. I think you were you were there or thereabouts in quali. I think you did quite well. So now we'll reset the uh, lobby to reverse grid and see how people get on in that one. So <coughs> race two then. This one, um, you've got to run two compounds a tyre. So you can start on whatever compound tyre you want to. So you've got the choice of racing hards to racing super softs. Um, you're going to have tyre wear though to consider at 10 times. So for every one lap you do, it's effective to 10 laps in the real world. So that's, uh, for anyone who watches Formula 1 and watched Lewis Hamilton at Monaco, you can just imagine what tyre wear does to your car. Um, fuel wear will add another little bit to fuel wear. Fuel depletion. Yeah, we've got a 10 minute, um, Andre, we've got a 10 minute gap. So if you want to 
Uh, if you want to go and watch EastEnders for 10 minutes and then come back to us at quarter past nine um, British time, um, feel free to come back and watch the start of race two, mate. Um, what was I saying? So, yeah, you've got um, fuel depletion as well. So it just adds a bit of strategy because you're not going to get a full tank. You're going to get about 70 litres. And they, they, they've probably worked it out that there's no way, even with dramatic fuel saving, you can do a race distance um, on 70 litres. Even if you run around short shifting in, in, in mode 6, which no one would do because it's ridiculous. Um, so we'll probably see people short shifting. We'll probably see different fuel mixtures from time. We'll, we'll probably see people running hard compounds longer. We might see people going absolutely balls out on, on soft tyres and just seeing what they can do um, what would I do um, because I'd, if I'd have just done a, an 8 lap race on a full tank of mediums I'd be comfortable with that tyre, I'd know my pace, I'd know my grip levels, I'd stick with the medium tyre you know what your wear is going to be um, hopefully you'd have practised at this point you know how many laps you can get out of it you probably then worked out how many laps you can get out of um, 70 litres as well because you can just about guess that uh, you probably want to time it if you're running um, if you're running two compounds you, you probably want to time it um, so you get off the slow compound attire um, in, a, in a relatively short stint which is what I didn't do on Wednesday um, and then you can run like a, a soft or a medium a little bit longer so who knows we'll see um, but yeah burnt fires asking in the chat what happened yeah it, exactly what happened who knows uh, let's have a little bit of a catch. Um, uh, da, 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 yeah, um, you got to be happy with that. Um, yeah, you got to be happy with that at all. Um, big lad Steve, thanks for joining. Don't know if you're one of the racers, mate. Not too sure. Um, yeah, after all, I was just put in the chat that um, he braked too hard, slid, um, front hit the inside barrier, which is unfortunate because he was he, he had the, the pace. I had the pace to do that. So I'm going to go and top up my water. Um, I will be back before the second race starts. I'm just going to mute the mic. Um, what I'll do is I'll just let you sort of follow <coughs> one of our lads around. So you get to at least see someone running around. And I'll be back to you in just a moment.
Turn. Thank you for uh, waiting, hanging on. Uh, so there's a couple of you um, watching the stream, which I really appreciate you sticking around to do so. Um, I appreciate it's a bit of a gap sometimes, so there's a couple of you still watching. Uh, if you're still watching, drop a like, uh, drop a comment, let me know which one of these rapper baits that you're supporting today. Uh, and I'll try and get some coverage in the next one. I do sort of get wary that okay, on occasion I can sort of focus in on one battle and one thing alone and I'll forget completely that there's more than one person racing. Um, just by sort of looking in the chat um, that the lads have got going on between races, I can sort of see there was some incidents I missed. There was a bit of an incident in turn one that I missed and I've just re-watched a part of the stream and you can see it kind of kicking off in the background and I completely missed it, but there we go, that's what happens in the life of a commentator. I don't have a race director doing all this shit for me, I do it all myself. Sue me. So, this one is going to be a tasty race. The reverse squad ones always throw up um, an interesting first couple of laps because you've got the fast guys at the back wanting to get back to the front you've got the guys at the front who desperately want to keep it and these are the guys that, that you really want to watch out for because they're going to be throwing in some really strange strategies they, they want to keep that place so they might go for extended stints <coughs> um, they might god knows you know um, we'll see so guys uh, predominantly seem to be picking medium tyres I guess we'll be able to have a look at that as we go through um, some guys are soft one brave person Fraser's going brave on the super soft and he's only on two laps he's got tyre wear already um, Jake Carty another one going for the super soft they're the fastest grippiest tyres you can get but they wear out like you wouldn't believe um, Rick on softs Burt Fly starting on the medium so he's sort of taking my suggestion on board in that um, you don't need to warm your tyres up mate but there you go um, Fredo's out on the middle. A lot of guys choosing to start on the medium compound, which is probably a sensible choice. You know the tyre, you know what its grip levels are, you can put drive the tyre without overdriving it. I think the risk in, in taking a softer compound is you, you sort of feel there's more grip there than there should be. And um, you, just, you just drive it faster, um, causing more tyre wear. Uh, so, put some provisional points in. So, do, 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 do. having a look at it. So, live standings um, are F12 still leading the championship even after that. Um, even after that, is it all right? No, is it? God knows, I don't know. Not there too. Yeah, you did phrase it actually. Yeah, you've got you've got extra points for fastest lap and pole. I forgot about that. Provisional points. 
So yeah, provisionally, after all, we're still ahead by three points. He's got to, he's got to outscore Cutler um, in this next race to, to keep his hopes alive. Um, Rick had a really good outing, um, so he's um, scored some good points as well. So again, we'll, we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens in this one. Um, I'll try and cover as much as I can in the start. <coughs> gonna be difficult there's gonna be action which is not a bad problem to have uh, I guess but uh, it just means that uh, uh, what am I doing text to speech I don't want text to speech John no, no. <laughs> sorry mate uh, I Andre yeah um, Joe winner yeah hopefully um, standing racer uh, it's always good to support an underdog, um, and hopefully Joanne will be starting near the front, so we'll see. So, uh, lineup confirmed here, so it's a reverse of the results that you've just seen. So you've got the likes of Burt Fly, Reese and Cutler at the back. And um, TWT, Revolver, Jake Carty, Joanna, Scar Wars and Happy are going to be getting us underway today. So the five lights are on, ready for lights out. Round two, race two at Dragon Trail Seaside. All races seem to go with Jet Carter gets away slowly. Scar was gonna get the inside line and gets dives up the middle and immediately uh, gets himself up a couple of positions. Uh, Revolver still leads us into turn one. He's gonna have um, a, a whole host of cars bearing down the back of him now. It's getting a little bit frisky in the back. Let's try and cover a bit of the back action. Back action, we. Um, Sorry, I'm immature. Uh, looks like there was a little bit of bumping going on. Didn't really see that. Looks like uh, Rick got a little bit out of shape on his way into the hairpin, but um, managed to avoid absolutely wiping anyone off. Any major losers? No. Revolver still there. Scar Wars had a fantastic start. Um, got himself up into second place. Um, Joe Winner um, just now battling uh, to keep that third position, fighting off the, the one of the fastest guys in the grid, F12. And you've got Cutler behind him. There's five cars wide now going into going into this. They're going to have to single file in somewhere or another. And these guys don't want to give an inch. Yeah, laps. We're not set for the right amount of laps, are we? Good point, F12. <laughs> we should be at 14 laps. Anyway, we'll follow this because I don't know if they're going to restart or not. Who knows? We'll see. Um, they might order a restart. I'm not too sure if they will do. Uh, meanwhile, Scar Wars got himself up into the lead of the race, uh, fighting very closely to Joe Winner, who's just putting the pressure on now. Um, coming, he's going to try and force a mistake. Uh, it looks like racers have been ordered to, to quit and will we'll reset. Just in doing so, Scarlet just absolutely bails it. <coughs> yeah, these mistakes happen, cuddles are fine. Um, everyone's got a practice start at least. So, everyone's been ordered to back out. Looks like, um, looks like everyone's doing just that. So, false start. I didn't, you know what, Burnt Fight is so hard to cover everyone. It is really hard. Um, yeah, really hard to cover everyone that's that's going on, especially when you've got a reverse grid, mate, because everyone's just wanting to fly around. Um, it's, it's it's hard to get, to, um, it's hard to get coverage to the guy, especially because, you know, if <laughs> so Vettel yesterday. It's a yoke. <laughs> Any F1 fans will get the um, will get the subtle meme memeness of that. Um, yeah, it's hard to give everyone um, everyone cover because uh, what I want to do, I want to give it justice. You know, the the guys at the front, um, they're leading the race. They deserve coverage. Um, at the same point, I know full well that we've got the likes of F12 and Cutler and uh, Burnt Fight at the back that will just be wanting to get through the pack as quickly as possible so it's it's going to play out 
to some interesting tactics, I think. Oh, it's doing me. Right, let's spectate again so it spectates us automatically. <coughs> uh, it's going to have to set the grid manually, uh, which we'll do. So we'll just cover a few of the guys. Meanwhile, I'll take a sip. Uh, we'll cover tyres actually, so we'll see what sort of tyres people are. People are running, so TWT's gone for the softs. So is Joe Winner. F12, very aggressive strategy, so a brave call, if I may say so myself. That is very risky. Um, we're on 10 times tyre wear, that's FIA levels of tyre wear, which means that those tyres are just going to shred themselves to death in about 4 or 5 laps' time. Um, Brave call, mate. I hope it works for you. You've got a lot of battling to do, but that's a ballsy move. Um, Sky Wars had a fantastic start in the inverted commas from the start, um, going for the softs as well. Uh, super softs as well for Cutler. Uh, Bud on mediums, Revolver on mediums, Burnt Fire on mediums, Freddo on mediums, Cuddles on mediums. Rick Quicks on softs, Reese on softs, Jake Carter on super softs, and Happy on softs. So, um, sort of phrases just come out in the live stream that he smashed that start, and he would have he would have done that because he's got fucking ridiculously grippy tyres, and he would have got a good start anyway. Um, the the softer your tyre compound, the more your tyres have that initial bite and grip. That's why you get better sort of corner traction because they bite into the surface better. Um, the mould of the compound just allows the tyre to sort of slot in. Um, so those guys on the, the the hardest compound I see people running is medium. No one's gone to the hard tyre, which I thought one or two might do. Um, the guys on mediums uh, will, by natural default, just probably get a bit more of a poor start. I'm afraid, um, which will give people like, uh, which will give this man a bit of a better ability to, to get a fast start it'll give this man an ability to get a good start and we are now about to start again with race number two am I commenting tomorrow's focus race um, probably not mate to be fair because I've got my own stuff to practice for I'm afraid um, I've got my own leagues I need to practice for I'm afraid so um, I think tomorrow's dedicated to to me, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. Uh, but certainly, if, you know, if you've got stuff you need coverage on, let me and Dark Smoker know. Um, we're both eager to commentate. Everyone's at the grid, everyone's ready. Uh, waiting for the lights to sync up. So we've got one light, two, three, four, all lights are on. And away we go. And everyone just seems to get a little bit of a slow start. Their scar was doesn't get as good start. Bud gets a really good start after this one. Anyone at the back. Let's give F12 some coverage, see how he's getting on. Um, I can't go on board with him, I really wish I could. Um, again, making up really good places. Um, burnt fire. He's got a lot of traffic to fight through. Revolver not as good this time on the way out. This time we've got Jake Carty on the grass. Um, just seemed to park himself on the racing line on the way in there. Um, and collected a racer on the way through. Revolver now defending to Joanna. Joanna gets himself up into the lead and onto the inside line, importantly. Um, so Joanna, who's, who's on the softer tyre, will have wanted to get that move made quick, um, knowing that the guys behind were probably on uh, either quicker compounds or, or slower ones to slow him down. So going through the grid then, so we've got f 12 now up into four positions, a fantastic start. He did start sort of mid-pack because of his result in the first race, but equally um, a good start by F12. He's now battled his way up to third position, just literally shoving through the pack. Uh, Revolver in fourth. Um, has it, but not like the fact that... Um, was a little bit of a there, so... Um, but not like the fact that it was restarted because he was comfortably um, sort of ahead before. Um, Cuddles, not had a bad start. Uh, Bud in six, currently having a bit of a battle with Cutler. Cutler's a guy we know can fight uh, and will, because it's just his nature to do so. 
Corbyn himself has got a, a burnt fire breathing down his neck, who's managed to make his way through the pack. And he's now into 8th position, and he's got Fredo 5 behind him. I'm hoping that he can take advantage of, of, of his pace. Uh, TWT, who's unfortunately just had a bit of a terrible first lap. Uh, Rick, who seemed to be involved in a T1, T2 incident at the start. I couldn't see, so I'm not going to sit here casting blame. I've not got replay, so I can't tell you and, and go back to it and mark it, so I can't see that. Um, but it looks like Rick was the unfortunate recipient of, um, of a Punterino or two in turn one. And then Conrice, again, someone who's quick and should be at the top. So, looking at the battle for first time, we've got Scar Wars and Joanna separated by less than a second. Um, behind them two, we've got Cuddles F12, who seems to have lost out in a little bit of a battle there. Um, got to take advantage of those tyres while they're in the window. Um, they're going to start falling off the cliff in a couple of laps' time, and if he's sort of in the middle of a pack of cars when they do, he's not going to have a good day. Behind him, Bud on uh, a medium compound tyre, so there's a lot more durable but won't be as quick. So his ability to get past F12 is going to be compromised after by his tyres. You've got Cutler and Burt flying and right ding dong battle behind him going side by side into the S's. Uh, Burt flying, will he get a penalty for that? He had two wheels, he had all wheels off the track there. Um, will he pick up a penalty for for doing that, I think he kind of had to though, the alternative was, was sending Cutler into the advertising hoarding, so to be fair, I did the exact same thing. Uh, going on the pack then, we've got uh, Fredo and Revolver uh, having a little bit of a battle, Fredo just managed to sneak it past, looks like there was a little bit of contact, but it's hard to see if that was a bit of lag as well. Um, I'm happy he's got a four times of a second penalty, nothing epic. Uh, defending to Rick. Doesn't seem to have the fire in his belly this race. Uh, Conries, 12th, TWT, and Jack Carty in 14th, bringing up the rear of the pack. Meanwhile, back at least still tight at the top. These two just will not stop fighting. Um, Andre, you, your favourite, is currently winning the race. Um, so not managing so well on fuel. Um, I have to say, it looks like Scar Wars is using his advantage of being behind to his advantage of saving that little bit of fuel on him. Um, that being said, um, looking at the mileage, there's also considerably more laps in this car as well. So, um, so well done to Joanna so far, pulling in a, a, a decent result. Um, but still, this battle rages on. Uh, Burnt Fire seems to have lost a little bit. He's back down in seventh. We've got Cuddles in third right now. Big Bad Bud and F12 and Burnt Fry all hopping around for that fourth place. I'm still giving each other room though, these guys, so they're not they're not throwing each other off track from what I can see. Um, Burnt Fry on Cutler. Burnt Fry just manages to get uh, get the corner traction and get that done, but will Cutler attack him going into the asses? He's been throwing moves up here all all this sort of event long to be fair cut though as he's not afraid to do that this seems to be the closest let's just skip back to the front because these guys are having a good old battle before let's see if that's still raging on it appears now Dwayne has just pulled that gap out to about a second um, as Scar Wars runs wide potentially outbreaks himself and he's just going to break that, that slipstream now as he, as he starts to put in the fastest laps. Uh, got Cuddles not far behind, um, but the, the guys ahead are just starting to pull away a little bit. Uh, big Bad Bud. Fourth. And the battle for fifth is still a raging on. Uh, now I'm from the NGRV doing the Sirocco Cup. Um, yeah, I covered that the other day. I didn't see many of these guys. I did see a couple of them, not all of them. Um, Joe Winner was in there. Um, that's an ambitious move. Bloody hell, mate! That I just saw that just fly up the inside. Um, I thought for a minute he crashed, but I think he did just outbreak himself a little bit. But either way, if he managed to keep that, that was bloody good going. Um, Cutler F12, Burnt Fry all battling it out now for this fifth place. I think Burnt Fry's gonna get it done. Yeah, he's gonna have to space. I was gonna say that Cutler had the inside line, but. 
and Burnt Forest just managed to have the pace to, to get ahead. So Burnt Forest come from the back of the grid to fifth in four laps. Um, he's seven seconds off the leader. And we've got a pit stop to go. So most of these guys now approaching a quarter of tanks worth of fuel. So um, we're probably looking at pitting uh, probably around the lap eight mark. Let's have a check how some people's tyres are doing. So, Joanna um, has pulled out this gap now to 5.3 seconds. So, really nailing the strategy. Um, Scar Wars does have a little bit more fuel, but probably not enough to offset that in the pits. And he's now in a fight with Cuddles. A fight with Cuddles. So, um, struggle Cuddles, I'll we'll call him. Um, yeah, he's in a fight with him. It looks like Cuddles is going to try and send one up the inside. He's getting a little bit feisty, is this? Gets the inside line done, gets the move done before the corner, but can the end break it? So Cuddles breaks it a little bit earlier, um, just to ensure himself at the apex. Scar was again taking all the corner on that exit. Let's see how f 12s getting on, because uh, see if his tyres are shredded yet. He's doing well on them tyres, you know. I expected them to be absolutely mullered right now. Cutler as well. Um, time and fuel wear between the field relatively similar. Looks like Bud's got less than pretty much everyone else. So Bud and Burnt Fry burnt through their fuel reserves quicker than everyone. Um, probably won't mean they can get an extra lap out. It'll probably just mean they can extend their stints a little bit. Not extend their stints. Um, spend a little bit less time in the in the pits. So we've got a first round of pit stops coming up. So we've got Cuddles in the pits. Joanna stays out. So enough fuel for an extra lap. So Cuddles comes in with 9%. So we're seeing the strategy play out now. So the guys are half an hour change size, so they have to go to a different compound. Um, so the guys that were on, if you're on softs, you could go to super softs. If you were brave, you could go to mediums. Um, the challenge for these guys now is going to make a set of mediums go that amount of laps. Um, no matter how you cut it. If I flick to someone that's on mediums now that's still out there, that's the tyre wear after four laps. Um, so double that and add a bit more. And that's what these guys are gonna have to gonna have to face now. So <coughs> Joanna. The gap's come down a little bit. So tells me that they're either fuel saving. It's probably our fuel saving looking at the fuel reserves that they've got to face with. Um, but could also mean tyre wears kicking in. I think they're all going to be suffering from the same problem. These are front wheel drive minis, for God's sake. The, the, the rears are just going to be absolutely fine. The front will die. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to sort of strongly suggest looking at the speed deltas that Joe Inner is saving fuel right now. Uh, it seems to have a couple of mile an hour less than everyone else going down that long straight. So I fully expect this next pack of guys to go into the pits and we'll just see if the um, the guys that have pitted already do manage to get an undercut. Um, so the, the guys we're interested in watching is Cuddles onwards. So they've currently got a 14 and a half second gap um, to the next person up. But, uh, but Keeley, uh, probably about 29 seconds any, if they if they might sort of get a pit stop in under 29 seconds, they're gonna they're gonna make that cut uh, for the next lap around. So we'll go back to Joanna then, who just peel off into the pits on absolute minimum fuel, um, two percent. Joanna currently on softs, Cutler currently on the super softs. He's done well to keep them alive, to be fair, because those tyres should have died. Good one to watch is gonna be Fredo who's gone to the mediums like he can now go on to a faster compound if he wants to. Uh, probably expect him to move on to the soft compound. But we'll see what they all come out with. Uh, so that means that at the minute F12 is currently in the lead of the race, not yet pitted. Um, really extended that stint. Um, I called it early on, Fraser, the I thought you were going to die after about five laps. I was wrong. You've kept them tyres alive really well and you've extended your fuel. So, in theory, right? Could, um, I think the thinking behind that is it just gets that compound of tyre out of the way. So now you can probably get away with going on a soft compound or a medium. Um, and get uh, 
on a still relatively fast tyre instead of having to go um, instead of having to go on anything else. Uh, looks like Joanna has lost out a little bit. And that pit stop currently fifth. I don't know if there was an incident that we've missed. Because, um, yeah, who knows? Not too sure. Not that we have missed an incident. I think it was just a pit stop. Uh, Bud moving down the next. Obviously, all these guys have pitted. Bud is on a faster set of tyres. Uh, Scar Wars, who had good pace in that first stint, uh, he's bringing up some place. Rick as well. Uh, Rick and after all, we're going to have a little bit of a scrap going into the pits. It's pretty even, Stevens on them and fuel and tyre wear and stuff, so uh, probably expect to see these guys emerge out. Uh, probably see Happy peel off as well. Happy's really minimal on fuel. Uh, literally not revving that car at all, as you can see. Uh, Cuddle's the next person that has pitted. Is going to resume the lead in just a minute's time. Looks like Cuddles has actually run out of fuel going into the. Sorry, not Cuddles. Happy's run out of fuel going into the pits. Uh, so we're going to see Cuddles take the lead of the race. There's still a few laps to go though. That tyre wear is going to start hurting soon. to where we were, so Joanna, this is where it's going to get interesting, so where these guys are going to start peeling out, F12 comes back out in 6th position, just loses out to Reese. so F12 resumes in 7th, Cutler's going to try it, and Cutler's going to get by him as well, um, is he two stopping, has he gone back onto the racing super softs? I thought he started on Supersoft. Oh, that, did I get that wrong? I could have that wrong, you know. He could have started, I don't know. I'm, I'm certain I'm not losing my marbles. Uh, Cutler's moved himself onto the soft compound. Is there any Batman going on? Let's have a look. Isn't really in this part of the track. There is between F12 and Cutler, but we've just covered that, so let's see what's going on further down. So we've got Fred out. Got Burnt Fry down in 10th. Um, still a long way to go. Um, some of these strategies haven't yet to play out, because once tyre wear kicks in, these cars will slow massively. Um, some of these guys are on fresh, some are starting to wear them down a little bit. We saw one out of fuel a minute ago. We've got Revolver. We've got TWT. And Jake. Jake just coming around to start uh, his seventh lap. And our leader, currently uh, the host for the team's race, Cuddles by six and a half seconds. But as you can see, he's, he's fighting some tie well already on that mini. Big Bad Bud doing slight, he's got a slight easier task to do with fuel is getting quite tasty now with Scar Wars and Reese. So this one will follow for just a moment. So also Reese has got the one coming out the final turn and will get the corner made. And potentially even now gonna have a run on Joe Winner. So he tries to force Joe Winner to go to the right hand side so we can take the attack in line. Um, all it's gonna take now is a late red on Reese to, to make this kind of move. Makes it beautiful move for Reese. Uh, from fifth to third in pretty much just two corners. Well done. Uh, Reese now lined up big bad bud. He's just on the fast tyre now. Um, so if Reese can make this tyre last to the end, which I think a few of the guys have proven is definitely possible, uh, Tokyo Drift Mini style there. Um, a few of these guys have proven you can take this tyre all the way. Um, Reese, a bit of a flash of the lights to put him off. Um, got a bit behind his teeth now this lad has really wants to uh, to make this move stick uh, it's a good battle to stick with this one so we'll watch this I'm just a shame I can't go on board and get you some footage from on board because I'm going to have to that really live and things up <coughs> uh, big bad bud go 
going defensive into the corner. Reese is going to go for the switch back potentially now, but again, it's not really worth it. He's, you, you can't really gain too much. You're not going to really ever make a move going through these corners. It's just a higher chance of it ending in absolute disaster. That being said, he's going to try it anyway. Bloody hell. <laughs> As we said that, this corner that I said you could cut, but decided not to. Reese did, and um, yeah, move made. So, Reese, who I said in the first sort of stint, was having a bit of a shocker. Um, now has the opportunity to, to absolutely charge for first place against uh, Cuddles, who's struggling on, on Taiwa. So let's have a look, see if there's any action going on throughout the pack. Seems to be quite separated now, so there's a, there's a few races, guys just in races at the moment. Burnt Fire is one of them. Cutler and F12 are still having a ding dong. Let's just follow these guys for a couple of laps and well, a couple of corners maybe. We'll see how they're getting on. Um, a key, not a key thing to point out, but some, a difference to sort of point out between this type of racing and the sprint racing you've just seen. Remember me commenting how everyone was just bang, 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 consistent lap time. So we're doing 204, 204, 204, 204. You're not seeing that yet. Um, you're seeing different lap times throughout the throughout the field, and that's tyre well, that's fuel consumption, that's people putting different strategies in play. Um, as we see, Cutler try and sort of intimidate Scar Wars into a mistake. Um, he's got a bit of a two-way battle. He's got to defend from F12, who we know has got pace and is quick, um, but he's also going to want to try and make a move on Scar Wars sooner rather than later as well. So don't forget these these guys are fighting ten times tyre wear. Um, these tyres are, um, are going to lose grip fast, so they'll have gone round that corner last lap with a completely different level of grip than what they're currently dealing with. It's quite difficult to manage mid-race. Um, anything sort of north of times five is, is does mean that the, the dynamic of it changes. Um, it's gone three wide, we've got Cutler at F12 and Scar was all fighting. Cutler late breaks, but that's going to fall in deep. It makes a touch of the wall. That one uh, definitely F12. Scar was just kept his line tight. Well, I didn't see any contact, but again, without being able to replay, I can't really tell you whether there was any. Uh, Cutler does he try to brave if he goes on inside him? He gets a touch of the wall again. That's a risky move to put. I mean, if it pays off, it pays off, but um, it's, it's difficult to make a move there. It's just too tight, um, even in these series of cars, really. Uh, Burnt Fry now is thinking that he's going to have to start defending to these guys soon because these guys are on an absolute charge. Scarwells runs it wide coming out of final turn, going to massively compromise his, his, his exit speed and sort of put him out of contention for the time being. Reese comes in to change the tyres. Um, is this a two stop? Not too sure. Uh, all I know is he's absolutely mullered for his fuel. Same as Bud. So we've got five laps to run in this one now. Uh, we've still got Cuddles up ahead. Um, <coughs> he's got an eight second gap now to Rick, who's inherited that second place. Uh, looks like he's got enough fuel and tyres to make it to the end. It does look like Cuddles is going to have to come in again. Joe Winner. Looks like they've got the fuel and the tyres to make it to the end. Um, 12. Looks like they've got the fuel and the tyres to make it to the end. And Burnt Fry, not sure. Looks a little bit low on fuel if the fuel rate is uh, is what it is, but we'll see if he can make it stick. Uh, Cutler's going to the end of the R, so he's Scar Wars, so he's happy. Uh, Fredo's got some catastrophic tyre wear on those mediums. Uh, but enough fuel. Uh, Reese now on his uh, next set of super softs. Uh, Bud all the way down in 11th. Show sure was higher up than that. I don't know if he's made a mistake or if he's pitted again. I think, yeah, he's pitted again. Honey. My mistake. Uh, Cuddle seems to have lost a little bit of time to Vic, who's chasing him down behind. Um, Joe Winner. Look at this battle behind him, actually. F12 and Burnt Fry. 
Ball burnt by someone up the inside. His only attempt behind him was well within his rights to send one up there, but didn't. Cuddles picks again. We've 10% fuel, so that means. Got tyres off fit. We'll find out in just a minute. Burnt fry pits again. So again, not knowing how this fuel would play out, I wasn't sure if it was a one or a two stop race for most of these guys. I guess that's where the strategy comes into play. Um, you tend to just have to practice and find out what's the quickest. Still so in a sort of Tokyo drift sit around that first corner. Uh, some of these guys are now starting to lap. Back markers who are doing a good job of getting out of the way. Uh, Rick's now trying to pull it up to F12. He's is, is quick behind him. He's putting in the pace, but he's also getting getting pressured by Joanna. Um, he's, he's, he's still keeping up this this momentum. He's got the the slower tyres on. He shouldn't be this quick, but he is. So looking at Rick's tyre and fuel, um, marginal. So he's got half a tank. So he's got enough, basically. Um, and he's got a 6.3 second gap to F12 with, with the same sort of tyres and fuel. So um, unless he makes a mistake, it's his race, in my opinion. Um, looking at where he is, he's sort of pulled in a little bit of a good strategy. Don't forget at the start... Um, at the start, he got he got punted by a lot of things, so he's had a he's had a, he's a fantastic recovery to where he's potentially changed his strategy mid race. Probably wasn't ex expecting to be here at this point, but um, clever strategy course can do that for you. Take note, Ferrari. Um, Cutler, another good run out for Cutler. Um, fourth at the minute, he's under pressure from Scar Wars, but he's fending him off well so far. Um, I can't tell if that fuel's going to make it to the air. It should do, to be fair. It's a third of a... It's a third uh, of a lap. Uh, Reese making a move on Happy there that we just saw. So Reese now promoted up to seventh position. Let's see if there's any more battles going on. Cutler and... Cutler and Scar Wars is still having a bit of a battle. Cutler's having to go defensive. It's cost him tons of time, but he's got to do it because Scar Wars is, at, is all over him like a fat kid on a cupcake. Uh, just not letting him breathe. Look at that. A nice move down the inside. That's just going to give him the inside for this corner, which is what you want. Scar Wars down the inside. Can he break? Can he outbreak? Cutler going in. Looks like Cutler's just going to hang it round the outside again. Did that before. <laughs> Fantastic defending, mate. Well done. Um, yeah, Marshall. I, I thought I, I'm not dreaming then, am I? So he started. I'm sure he started on racing super softs because I remember him. I remember talking about how he's going to be able to get a better start than anyone else. Don't look like it. I like it. I don't know. I think um, it's not. I'm not a steward. It's not for me to say. So, but I don't think he has. Um, I just don't want to tear away from this ball, but they don't, and they don't really seem to be much else going on track that I can see from the map. So we'll stick with these guys for a minute. The battle for fourth. And both go a little bit wide there again. Are, are, are they just going to get a little bit brave going into this corner? They're coming up to a back marker now as well. <coughs> They're both coming up to Jake Carter. He's going to want to get out of the way of these guys as quick as possible. He does not want to be blamed for, um, for interfering in this one. Probably see him pull himself over to the corner in a minute. So four, fifth, and six separated by what appears to be about seven tenths of a second tops. He definitely started on the race and so I, yeah, it's good to know I'm not going mad anyway. Cheers for that, man, Marshall. Appreciate it. Um, I don't know if you pitted already. Might be worth checking if you pitted already. All the while, um, Cutler's gone cutting the grass and lose him all that momentum. And Cuddles and Scar Wars, and I'm going to go three wide into turn one. Let's see how this one pans out. I just wish I could go on board because this, look at that. That's a thumbnail. That's a thumbnail. Lap 13. I'm writing that down. That's the thumbnail, that. Uh, 
all breaking them at the same time. Cutler's got the bigger balls out of all of them, but at the same point, those bigger balls weigh him down the understeers. Scar Wars and Cuddles make a little bit of contact. Um, doesn't seem to be much in it. Uh, can't tell. See, I've got my laptop here with my notes on it. Like 30. There we go. <coughs> This is just nice close race. This is what I love about a spec series. Because these three drivers must be so close on actual driver talent that if you let them, I bet if they could do 40 laps like that and you'd not get more than a second between them. Um, all the while, just to give the, the guys up ahead a little bit of coverage, Joe Winner um, is actually trying to get past the back marker here. Um, so it's costing Joe Winner a little bit of time. In fairness, Jake should be getting out of the way of this. Uh, F12. Uh, just running in second at the minute, but there's a debate as to whether he's going to have to pit again. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, Rick, four second gap to F12. Really comfortable. He's just going to open. He's just about to start the last lap now. Uh, Jake does get out of the way. Revolver. Not really giving Revolver much coverage. Do apologise for that for you, mate. It's like there's, there's not really been any battles we've been involved in. Do apologise. Uh, Freddo. On the super softs, big bad buds, and cuddles uh, in another little bit of a battle. Uh, happy in eighth, good result for Happy so far. He's um, considering he didn't do too well in the in the first round. He's doing well so far, uh, putting some good lap times in as well. Uh, Cutler goes for an ambitious little down uh, down the inside move with that. Will that affect his turn, uh, turn in speed, turn out speed? Who knows? Uh, Burnt Fly, uh, again, another, just a little bit of a recovery drive from that kid again. So, started last, um, got himself up to fifth, so he's got to be happy with that. I don't think he's going to be able to do much to catch Reese up ahead. Um, both guys putting in similar sort of times, but you've got to be happy with that result, to be fair. Uh, good result for Joe Winner. If it finishes like it does... Potentially promoted up to second if um, if this F12 thing gets looked into. I, 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 I'm, I feel like I'm going on about it a lot for someone who said they weren't a steward, so I'm going to shut up about it now. Mm. Um, so Rick losing time to F12, but just needs to get through this last sector cleanly, and he will take the win today. There's an awful lot of action going on back here. Look at that! Last lap, 14 laps, numerous pit stops. Six, seven, eighth, ninth, tenth. A second tops. Looks like Bid Bob just gets out of shape. So does uh, Scar Wars. Can Happy take advantage of his line going to be blocked off? Don't really know. Uh, Cutler and Cuddles just enables them to get away a little bit. I'm trying to keep an eye on the map as well so I can cover Rick going over the line. Uh, looks like the first place is pretty much solidly sealed. Um, Happy goes for an audacious move to take two cars. Just gets a little bit deep and then Nathan Cutler's... No, no, he keeps it. Um, I want to say then, it looks like he got it too deep and Cutler was going to get the exit speed, but uh, alas not. So let's um, go back up to Rick, who crosses the line in first position to win race two. Uh, Dragon Trail Seaside, got to have 12, crosses the line second position. And then final podium battle. Reese just takes it on the last corner. Can Joe Winner get this one back? Go on. That's gutting. Uh, the ball, that was a fantastic move by Reese first and foremost. That's got to be said. Um, but Reese, Joe Winner and Burnt Fry, third, fourth and fifth respectively. Um, unlucky Joe Winner, that was a last corner. Um, last corner overtake. Um, up until that race, up until that part, fantastic race to be said. Uh, Cuddles brings it home in six, and you're happy in seventh again. Good race for happy. Big bad bud in eighth. Cutler in ninth. Probably be a little bit disappointed with that one to be fair. Cutler given his pace around this track. Um, Scar Wars in tenth. Them two were just tied together. Like Siamese twins all race. So that's probably what cost them both the time. Um, TC Fredo brings home 11th. Uh, 
Uh, Revolver still going around, but it's going to solidify 12th position. Jake Carty in 13th and TW team 14th. So, massive congratulations to GTP Rick WRX for um, a, an absolutely solid race, to be fair. Um, look at those lap times. It's absolutely aced it. Fantastic race. Um, F12 uh, bringing home second. Looks like we're about to quit back to the lobby. And then Reese bringing on first, so third. So there's your results. So that rounds off the Chloe Hewitt Cooper Cup for to round eight. And our winners are confirmed on this one. So um, yeah, let's have a look. Let's get some chat going. So what do you think of that? Um, I thought that. Excuse me. I thought that the the tire and fuel wear works really well. Um, for that type of circuit and that sort of car um, it, the strategy just played out throughout that race and you could just sort of see the way it was unfolding it, the, the middle of the race for me probably got a little bit flat and then the second people started pitting again you just started seeing these battles coming off so um, yeah burnt fire you did, uh, nine places up started from the back again great result um, yeah, 18 0, fantastic racing. Com completely agree with you. Um, Fraser, I had to nurse the fuel after my stop. Yeah, it looks like. Did you underfuel on purpose or was it just accidental sort of underfueling? Couldn't really tell. The thing with Gran Turismo Sport, when, when it sort of predicts how long you've got left, it does it based on how you've been driving up to then. So if you've been driving conservatively on purpose, you've got to bear that in mind and potentially overfuel going forward. Um, just to just to say a well done to to all the racers. Um, racers aren't without incident, of course. Um, there, there has been incidents throughout uh, throughout the, the weekend. So the two racers have been some some little bumps and bruises. Dragon Trail's a tight track. Um, it's gonna happen. Um, it's also a place with an absolute ton of overtaking opportunities. So you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have little bumps. Um, obviously, the stewards will have a look at, uh, at any. Uh, incidents, potential for penalties to be distributed if they need to. Um, yeah, burnt fry, get a wheel, get a wheel, mate, get it, spend some money, get your hand in your pocket. Um, <coughs> I've just gone to, I, I'm currently sat, I'm gonna, um, guys, if you want a GT3 practice, I'll be jumping on GT3 in a minute. Um, I've got a Frostmaster T300 RS and a play seat. And I used to sit on the end of your bed with a controller. I'm probably slower now, but I, I just love, I prefer it. I just prefer racing. I feel like I'm a bit more consistent as well. Uh, let me just uh, drop a little. Uh, da, 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 da. Is there a. Don't think there's a. Let's just put That was a phenomenal racing. Um, yeah, I'll open up a lobby burnt fire in a minute, so just join me for some laps if you want. I've not raced. Well, I've, I did two laps the other day and I've. I think we're doing like a 106, something like that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so well done to all the racers um, that took part tonight. Absolute pleasure commentating on this one as always. Um, obviously, once a video uploads, um, I'll sort of put some links in the description to the Next Gen Racing Facebook page um, and a few other things if I think of them and I think they're interesting. Um, that being said, just want to uh, thank everyone for tuning in today. Thanks for the comments, thanks for the messages, thanks for Next Gen Racing for inviting me to be a part of it. Um, congratulations to all the racers that were involved tonight. It was, fun. It was a pleasure commentating on it and um, I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you very much for your time and um, we'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves guys.